uh, this the next section we've got uh, circulation, love making, contraception and rejuvenation. So we've done two. We've done the muscles and we've done the philosophy and behind the behind the things. So circulation of the uh, orgasm. After about after you able to hold the muscles strongly contracted for 15 seconds then you can move on to the next uh, stage but of course if you're taking drugs social drugs or alcohol or things like that then you um, then uh, this can affect the amount of uh, contraction you can do so you really need to be a little bit focused in this uh, time period so that you that you can do your muscle contraction very strongly and maybe stop uh, taking as many different social drugs or whatever that you can. So circulation. Um, once the muscles are contracted you begin a, a time of uh, masturbation and masturbation for the female and for the male. So you begin um, masturbating alone and um, you bring yourself close to orgasm. You bring yourself close to uh, orgasm and you, at the point just before you have uh, orgasm, you breathe in rapidly, you contract your muscles and for the male, if this is the testicles and this is the penis, then we're trying to stop the semen from going from the testicles into the body. And this muscle contraction is something like this. The muscle contraction is something like this. Now, the male, the top of the penis, the head of the penis, this part where the skin comes back, if you have a skin, the frenum or something, then you put your fingers just under the head of the penis and you hold it uh, tight. You hold it tight and you, not tight enough to hurt yourself, but firmly enough, strongly enough to reduce the blood flow to the head of the penis. And the head of the penis has about, I think they say it's 4,000 nerves. The head of the clitoris, they say is double, is 8,000 nerves and nobody knows why. Nobody knows why there's this difference, but um, the, just below the head of the penis, you can see the picture um, in my uh, book. There, a lot of people are a little bit shocked. Were uh, saying to me they're shocked by this um, penis. Here, there it is. There. So in the book, there you see the. In, in this one it's a male with a female uh, doing this, but you can see the thumb and the finger are just under the head of the penis. And this un under the head of the penis, you create this uh, locking, a second lock, a second lock onto the penis for the male. And there may in, it well be a, a similar type of thing where the female can hold the hood of the clitoris or some place just below the head of the clitoris to reduce the amount of uh, energy going to the clitoris as well. So you're breathing in, you're doing your muscle locks and for the male he's using his hand to pressure, to create a pressure on the place just below the head of the penis. Now if the male is masturbating he can put his, ha his um, finger underneath the testicles and he can also use the free hand that he's got to put, fingers, to put fingers under the testicles, these two particularly, under the testicles on this place you were talking about, hui yin point, or just between the anus and the testicles, so that you put the hand here and then you can use the other fingers to go around the, the base of the penis. And this is uh, very useful for, uh, for
for Taoists because it um, creates a quite a strengthened uh, erection. This is the place where the testicles are, at the base of the penis, this is the place where people put this cock uh, ring, they call it. Cock ring, a piece of uh, elasticated rubber, and it's nearly guaranteed to create a strong uh, erection. So, this pressure here, the, the actual penis goes all the way to, this, to, the, to the anus, to close to the anus. So, a lot of people, they spend a lot of time when, they, uh, when the erection is uh, down, they're playing with this area here. But the, alterna the alternative is to treat the whole of the penis, which is, starts here. So you spend, you put some fingers here, and then you put the other fingers around the base of the penis, and you, you start to move your hand, and then you, the other hand, the free hand, is uh, here on the penis. So there, it's like um, this uh, situation, the testicles are uh, here, here's the two fingers on the hui yin, uh, or the, between the perineum and the anus, not on the anus, in front, between the testicles and the anus. These fingers here are grabbing the base of the penis, and then the other hand here is grabbing this one. This is nearly guaranteed to give an erection to anyone who is failing to get an erection, because you can then move that, all the hands together or you can stimulate the head of the penis and this pressure here, like a cock ring and if you can, you can uh, make the fingers so that they go around the whole of the, the, whole of the penis maybe just use two fing uh, the finger and the thumb and this cock ring uh, effect and the pressure on the hui yin it, it uh, can, with stimulation, then you create this uh, powerful powerful uh, erection. But, at the point of orgasm, you come into the point of the uh, orgasm, you contract your muscles. For the male, he maybe is using this cock ring, don't use it in the stopping the orgasm. It's the top uh, one. It's this one on the head of the penis. Where the head of the penis is, you're locking your, ha your free hands your free hand on the end of the penis and you're locking your muscles inside. For the female, the same thing, she's locking her muscles, she's stimulating the clitoris, but maybe at some point, if she, if she wants to, she can use the hood of the clitoris to trap the clitoris. And the idea is, not, is to reduce the blood flow to the head of the penis and to the, the head of the clitoris to reduce the blood flow and to make a failure, to stop the orgasm. So this is what I, uh, this is what I recommend. And the logic of it is, when we come to talk about um, lovemaking, then you'll see the logic of it, because the female is doing these exercises very much so that she can lock at the same place on the head of the penis. So, when we come to talk about lovemaking, you'll see that the female is doing these exercises so that she can lock on the head of the penis, just below the head of the penis. Not where the cock ring is. She can do two places. She, when she, if she opens when she comes down, which she should do, she opens when she comes down onto the penis, and then she's locking at the base of the penis. This is a very good way to stimulate the penis to grow larger, to get strong and firmer. And this is very important for, for males who are not having, uh, having uh, orgasm for many days. Three months of the winter they're recommending uh, in this uh, I Ching uh, book. So she can lock her muscles onto the base of the penis and just by the action of locking the, the blood supply gets um, locked into the penis and then the penis becomes larger and larger and um, the penis becomes larger and larger and then when the penis is sufficiently large she brings the male to orgasm but then when he's come to orgasm she signals, we'll talk about it when we get to the lovemaking section but she signals and he and then she rises up and she locks onto the 
placed just under the head of the penis. And it's the same when the female is having an orgasm as well. She does the same action so that you can keep very still. Two dragons lovemaking, or two humans lovemaking, they keep very still and they lock onto this uh, position uh, here. And uh, this is what uh, is uh, happening in successful Taoist, um, Taoist uh, action. So there's a few things to say about that. We're talking about circulation, we're talking about masturbation. Before you go into the, into the lovemaking uh, situation, the female is um, doing her exercises, the male is doing his exercises, and these exercises, they do it, she, he does them for 20 days until the muscles are strong. Her muscles are strong, his muscles are strong, they can hold them for like 15 seconds without too much, without any uh, shivering or loss of uh, strength. And then they go into the masturbation phase, so then they bring themselves close to an orgasm. And for the male and the female, this point of pressing on the point just below the head of the penis is one of the best uh, helps. To, as well as the muscle lock. So it's a double locking system. The muscles locking here to stop the semen from going into the body. And this one here is reducing the supply of energy nerve to the blood, the, the nerves in the human, uh, on, the, on the end of the penis. And the, the nerves on the end of the penis, there's more nerves there than anywhere else in the body, even in the brain. They, the, in this uh, concentration, there's the biggest concentration on the clitoris and the penis. So this locking is mimicking, it's uh, mimicking the, uh, the uh, actions that you do uh, during uh, lovemaking. So that's the few things. There's the muscle locking, you're holding the locking, you are holding the, the tightening of the, of the penis, not so that you can hurt yourself, but enough and you're breathing in, you've tightened, you've got your air to uh, here, and um, then you're waiting for the energy to uh, subside and to go away. Once the energy subsided and go away, then you can begin, um, begin uh, masturbating again and bring yourself back again and repeat the, repeat the whole thing. Mm -hmm.